handstand. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh. He's, um, freaking deceit. Lie! Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Guilty as child. Hi, hello, what do you want? Thank you, Virgil. I love how you just ruined my dramatic introduction. Mwah, mwah, so good. Well, your face ruined my day, so we'll call it even. Roman, enough. No, seriously, Roman, enough. Name. Dr. Trickle and Mr. Lie. Glad he didn't leave it at Dr. Trickle. Oh, what, so I can't join in and give my honest opinion? Yeah. No. I honestly don't believe you can give your honest opinion. Come on, I don't only speak in lies. Oh, that's definitely a lie. Mm. Sometimes it's just a matter of self-control. Bad deceit. Oh, sorry deceit. I'm just kidding. All right, he can stay. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Anything about words, would you, mister? I don't know what you mean. Giving your word is an act of honesty between- What? I can't understand you. I don't know anything about words. Maybe Mary and Lee will understand. Uh, it's actually Mary Lee and Lee. Not confusing at all. Lying! <laughs> Whose underwear is that? If they think I'm gone. H. Copa Lucas, director of Psycho Godfather Wars. I'm your morality, I- Yeesh. I would have stayed in my room if I knew Dad was gonna take us on a guilt trip. But you can't change the facts. Oh my gosh. Is Thomas an innocent little lamb? Let's let them be the judge of that. Oh, I can do judging. We are back in the mind palace, and that means I can summon anything. I'm too emotionally unstable for jury duty. Can I be excused? Oh, come now, Virgil. Jury duty is so much fun. My butterfinger! And he is at existing. I hope so, too. Um, I broke my gavel. I don't care. Wonderful. Now, could we have the Honorable Justice Roman read off the charges, please? Deceit, prosecuting for the five, did leave his dirty underwear all over the gosh darn floor like a gosh darn animal. Uh, I'm sorry. What was that last one? Yeah, the underwear couldn't be Thomas's. He would never. Objection! I can confirm that Thomas does leave his filthy underwear on the floor after tearing them off the moment his guests leave the house. That's... True. Objection. Judges don't object. Objection. Neither can the jury. There, what do you, the jury decides if he's guilty. What am I doing? I don't care. Okay, well, that sucks. What does the judge even do? His best. Who said with the confidence of a man who has his hands stuck in the cookie jar in a cookie factory and his pants are down and they're on fire. <laughs> it's actually... All right, listen, listen. Logan's not here, so let's act like it, all right? Curses. David huh? impersonated. <gasps> to say, yeah, yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah. Can't he's, say I'm happy about it. Here. Who do you think impersonated you? You know. I know. Why is he still here? He doesn't like Nazis. That uh, can't be where the bar is. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay, so we kiss now, or so. You are Thomas's uh, stinky poo poo side, correct? What? No. I am Thomas's logical side. Yes. There's always room for me. <coughs> Sorry, there was something in my throat there. Well, Thomas has more to lose if he misses the wedding. What? How? Winning the callback. Is that how that should be phrased? <laughs> yes. Don't you? I don't feel anything. The only thing the wedding has to offer Thomas is a potential increase in depression. Film could radically shift Thomas's trajectory in life. A huge reward. I am the director of activities for Thomas's right arm. Just the right. The left arm is managed by Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Roman! It's, it's real mature, your honor. It was exhibit B for bird, after exhibit A for A, look at this, nerd. <laughs> Looks like I'm guilty of arson, cause I burned you. When did Thomas hear about this callback? Two hours, 15 minutes, 45 seconds, 46 seconds, 47 seconds. Today! Today. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that would work, and it didn't. Oh, no, thank you. Wow, Thomas, it seems these days your moral compass is pointed south. Towards hell! Gooby Dooville. He just said he was a liar! I didn't say liar, I said lawyer. Totally different. Will you let Patton make his case? Your Honor, will you control the one angry man over there? One angry man? That's so good. That's, that's oh, great. I thought you'd like that one. So I just wanted to bring that back up for the jury. And that's all I got. Oof. If you say so, you accomplish nothing. I'm afraid this is a benched trial for you. Really? 
I'd like to call my next witness to the stand. Virgil? Mm. Very well. You don't usually have anything helpful to add anyway. Okay. Ask me your questions. You are in control of Thomas's fears, are you not? Oh my god. We all know each other. Who are these clarifications for? Cut to the chase! Is Weddings are outdated, overly expensive pageantry. Yeah, well, I also once swore to Thomas that the drink he left alone in the other room for 10 seconds was definitely poisoned, and if he drank it, he would die. I'm not exactly a beacon of truth. <laughs> Very well. This guy's, he's a liar. You literally know him as deceit. It takes a liar to know a liar. Uh, objection, he's weaseling the witness. The correct term is badgering. Order, order in the court. <clears throat> Hi, Virgil. Do you happen to know Thomas's feelings about how skipping the wedding might affect his friends? No. I mean, if they're not gonna hurt Thomas back, then why are we worried about him? Ow. Be All right, next witness. Oh. I'm the real <laughs> Roman. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh, you know I love you. We get to watch Mary Lee, Mary Lee, Mary Lee, and their life becomes a dream. So let me get this straight. The best thing for us to do is sit with a crowd of strangers, watch two people shove cake into each other's mouths, make out, and tell each other how much they love each other, while dressed like a butler and a princess. One last thing. Stay with me here. Say you had a stereotypical relationship between a man and a woman. You lost me. No further questions. Smirk. Roman! Imagine if you will. Done. You've met an extremely handsome and wonderful prince. The second most handsome prince in the world. Wait, wait, wait. Why can't I meet the first most handsome prince? Because that's you, you knucklehead. Oh, 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 oh you need to, you need to chill. Suck up. Going. Yay, Liza. Oh, what's that? Terrible news? Okay, she canceled. That bitch. <laughs> well, I guess life really is a cabaret, Miss Manelli. It was all just a scene. And she has her own life. So deceit. If that is your real name. It is. Oh, honey. <laughs> that's a laugh and a half. Right? Yeah, that's a statement. I don't know what he's talking about. I know. I know. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boogeyman. Boogeyman. And now I'd like to call Thomas Sanders to the standers. Nailed it. Oh, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Prosecution rests or whatever. Let's just call it here and put him out of his misery. Wait, what? Whoo! Sure! No! Falsehood. <gasps> oh my god! Why don't you just leave the teaching to me? <laughs> there he is. I'll always be a part of you. Oh, look at the little tongue. Slither to undreamt of. Oh! <laughs> I got you there. I'm glad that was a joke. For a moment there, I was devastated. I freaking hated everything about this. Whew, I was afraid of what you meant by strong language. Do